Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see domain name system or uh, mostly known as a DNS. For more mapping the domain name with an IP address, we are going to use domain name system. See, in our day-to-day -day life, we visit various websites like for example, facebook.com. If we want to access Facebook, we use or we write www.facebook.com in URL or if we want to access Gmail, we write gmail.com. See, we are writing name instead of an IP address. Because remembering the IP address or remembering the name, uh, remembering the number is very difficult uh, than the remembering of names. So for uh, ease of remembering what we do, we map this particular domain name with an IP address. And this is uh, done with the help of domain name system. And what is domain name system? Domain name system is an hierarchical and decentralized name or you can say naming system for computers, services or other resources that is connected to the internet. Means uh, it is used for mapping the host name to a IP address. We are going to map particular website or the particular domain name to a IP address. Okay. Now, before uh, knowing, before moving further, we should know some of the important points that are used in the domain name system, uh, like for example, namespace. Namespace, uh, it maps each address to unique name. Each address is going to be provided a unique name and it can be done in a two ways. First is a flat name structure and a second is a hierarchical name structure. See, a flat name structure, a name which is assigned, uh, it, is in a, it is a name in, uh, which is assigned in a sequence. There is a, it is a it is a sequence of character without any kind of structure and it cannot be used for the large system. It is having the, uh, it is having very flat surface or you can say uh, directly we are providing the sequence of character in this way. That's why it is known as a flat namespace. Next is a hierarchical namespace. Hierarchical namespace uh, each name is uh, made up of several parts. Like for example, first part can be the nature of organization. Second part can be the name of the organization, or third part can be the uh, department of an organization, and so on. Means we are providing some some kind of hierarchy. So because of that, hierarchical namespace is mostly preferable instead of flat namespace, and it can also be used for the large organizations or the large system. Okay. Next thing uh, that you should know uh, in a DNS is a domain name space. See what happened in a domain name space to have an hierarchical name space. Obviously, domain name uh, domain name space was designed uh, defined like an inverted tree structure with a root on the top. Uh, it has a 128 levels starting from zero, ending uh, from starting from zero to 127. Okay. Uh, it is also having a labels and each label, uh, what is label C? Label, uh, it is a each node uh, in the tree. For example, this is a tree and each particular node is going to be have some label that we are going to obviously see in the uh, example that would make it more clear to it, uh, more, cl more clear to you. Now see what happened. Uh, next thing that you should know is a domain name. What is a domain name? It is a sequence of labels separated by a dot. Okay, uh, like for example, we'll take one example so that uh, you would be more clear what is label, what is domain name. Okay, now see, this is an example. For example, this is our root, this is a structure. Okay, how we are going to define the domain name, how we are going to define the label. Okay, this particular nodes, each and every node has been given some kind of label, and this is the labels. Like for example, edu, abc, xyz is a label. And how we are going to provide the domain name to this particular labels starting from the bottom. Starting from the bottom, like uh, we are going to provide, it would be, we are going to give the name separated by the doc, like xyz dot abc dot edu. Okay, this would be for this particular label. Now for this label, what would be the uh, domain name abc dot adu. Okay. Similarly, for this would be ADU, or simply ADU, because directly root node is obviously a null node. So in this way, we define the labels and a domain name. Now, next thing that you should know is a domain. Domain is nothing but a part of a tree, or you can say it is a sub, uh, it is a subtree of a domain namespace. Like in this example, you can see, uh, for example, this is a, your structure. You can take the simply parts of the uh, particular hierarchical structure. These are the domains. These are the domains. We are give, sub part of this 
this is a complete tree in this we have taken some parts of the tree and that particular parts can be the domain okay so uh, next thing that you should know is that dns in the internet see in internet domain name space or you can say this tree has been divided into three different categories and what are that different categories generic domain country domain and a inverse domain what happen in a generic domain uh, are, these are the domains defined or you can say define register host according to the generic behavior uh, like for example adu is a behavior you can say it is an educational institute dot org is an government dot uh, org is an organizational institute organizations or uh, gov is an uh, governments so in this way uh, they are defined according to their behavior whereas in the country domain obviously uh, it is define according to the country's name it uses only two character or you can say uh, it uses two character abbreviation like for example for us they uses dot us for india they uses dot ni sorry dot in uh, so in this way they define the country names or country domains last is the inverse domain see uh, what happen in the inverse domain it is used to map an address to a name it maps an ip address to a name generally what we do we map a name to an address but it in this what we are going to do we are going to reuse the reverse procedure okay means what we are doing we are provide we are mapping the domain name to an ip address here we are going to map uh, we are, what we are going to do we are going we are going to map an ip address to a domain name reverse procedure we are going to use now uh, all the uh, things that uh, for domain name system you should know now you know till here now we will see how actually domain name system work okay how it works see for example if we uh, we want to access the uh, facebook.com okay uh, what the user do what the user does user writes the www.facebook.com in the url what happened then smtp client uh, send the request to the domain name system uh, client uh, once once this request has been sent it, the query is forwarded to the server and server searches for the respective IP address of the Facebook and for example that IP address is 192.168.162. Uh, something and that response is going to be forwarded to the client and that would be again forwarded to the SMTP client and this response is going to be given to the transport layer because transport layer is going to provide you the uh, because transport layer is used for the transporting of the information so simply what is happening we are sending the request and we are getting some kind of response we are sending request of for example we want a id of or we want the ip address of facebook then particular response or what particular ip address we are getting with the help of SMTP client, DNS client and a DNS server. Simply SMTP client send the request to the client, DNS client and then DNS client send the request to the DNS server. DNS server searches for the IP address of the Facebook and that response is sent back to the client or the sender and this is transfer to the transport layer and this all procedure is happening at a application layer so simply uh, it is a request and response kind of thing and it is very easy to understand uh, so this is the way how the domain name system works uh, so i hope you understand if you like uh, if you understand please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you